Hey guys, my name is Akil. Welcome to my video. Um, so today I'm going to be explaining you my circuit, which I've been working for days on. Um, it's my soap dispenser circuit, um, where you put your hand there and it automatically dispenses the machine, uh, dispenses the liquid. I'm going to show you the demonstration at the end of the video. First, let me show you how my circuit works. So, um, in the last video, I showed you how uh, my PNP junction transistor works, and we're going to implement that in our um, automated soap dispensing machine. Here we have four main products. It's the proximity sensor, which you see right here, and it has three pins. It has um, the out pin, which gives a positive voltage. And then we have the VCC in the ground, which is basically um, the voltage needed for it. And then we have a centrifugal pump, which pumps the liquid. Uh, this is submergible, so it will go in the water and then it will pump it out. We have the S8550 PNP junction transistor, which will act like a high speed switch for our um, automated soap dispensing machine. And of course, we need a 5 volt power supply to power all our circuit. Okay. Um, so, at our first um, three wirings, we connect our, pulse, um, our VCC and our ground to the 5 volts because the IR sensor needs to um, do a continuous IR um, light. And then we have the positive out, which is um, connected in series to um, 1K ohm resistor to reduce the amount of current. And that's connected to the base of the PNP transistor. Um, now let's make um, a few connections from the emitter, collector, and the pump. So upon the pump, of course, needs some um, voltage um, traveling from the five volts. So we're gonna connect the negative, the negative, and we're gonna connect the positive to positive. Here, our pump is connected in parallel to the five volts uh, power supply, which means it's gonna run forever, and we don't want that. So, um, uh, we have our transistor, so when the IR sensor senses, um, senses an object, it sends a positive voltage to the transistor. As I said in the uh, video, before last video, when a voltage is sent to the PNP transistor over here, it connects the circuit. So same thing here. Um, so the collector is always connected. Um, uh, to the positive so here I'm gonna make a small cut and instead of putting a switch I put the transistor so the emitter is always connected to the positive and the collector is connected to the negative so our circuit is done so when we supply a voltage to the base it connects um, the circuit using the emitter and collector and runs the pump. I've been trying to find uh, the perfect type of transistor and here we have a, a mini transistor that helps my circuit work. Now I'm going to show you how my circuit works and then I'm going to show you how it works in the water. So come closer. Here you can see um, the out is connected to the base of the transistor and the VCC is connected um, um, uh, to the power supply, um, like as shown in my circuit. So when I connect my um, um, so basically, um, there um, this one's very uh, sensitive to light. So um, as you can see now, uh, when I put my hand, the motor runs.
because it's connecting the circuit and when I remove my hand it dis um, it doesn't supply any voltage and doesn't let the motor run okay since you now you, uh, you know the working principle of the um, submergible pump let's see this in action okay let's carefully bring our um, motor to our work our demonstration table I'm gonna add this pump um, to so the water pumps up and then here I have some H pure H2O um, covered in some wooden dioxide and then what I do is place this in and you see I submerged it. Come closer. So I'm gonna connect the power supply. And since now there's too much brightness, the, um, our IR sensor is gonna run without putting a hand. And okay, let me put my hand and you'll see it run. So our hand, our uh, pump is gonna be right here um, um, with our hand down there and you can see when I put my hand it pumps the water in our and then gives it to my hand Oops. Um, so guys thank you for watching part one of the video in the next video I'm going to show you um, my full um, how I connected it.